All right, welcome back, everybody. Want a little more rain? We may see some tonight before it's all over. We've been watching a strong line of storms become even stronger out of the big country, the Concho Valley this afternoon. It is forecast to make its way towards us, but it's making very, very slow progress. This is a live look from our Bob Mills Furniture Skylab weather camera. Gray skies. It's cloudy. It's cloudy everywhere right now. The Doppler net showing the shower activity out to the west of us, but in our neighborhood, it is very quiet. But We've had enough moisture in place here the last week and a half and additional rain anticipated tonight could run off and cause some flooding problems. So we do have a flash flood watch in effect for Hamilton, uh, Bosque, Hill counties, even Navarro County, and then on back up towards the Red River for additional rain. Storms in progress out to the northwest of us anticipated to make its way, uh, make the line will make its way into our area later this evening. It may be 8, 9 o'clock before it starts getting close to us. Right now, you're looking at a cloudy sky, 74 in Waco, 76 in Temple. Clean reporting 73. Land passes at 71 degrees. We had a morning low of 64 and a high today getting up to 78. 16 degrees warmer than normal for this time of the year when you do all the averaging out. No additional rain in our year-to-date total. Getting closer to 2.5 inches, but we're still better than 2 and a third behind normal for what we would anticipate the very end of February and into the 1st of March. Cloudy skies, damp conditions tonight. We're going to 70% chances of rain this evening with an overnight low of 52. Tomorrow, looking at fair skies. Once the front goes through and those winds go around to the north, we'll start getting uh, some nicer conditions lined up for us. Fair skies, look for a high temperature getting up to 63. And by late afternoon, winds pretty gusty out of the north. 10 to 15 miles an hour and gusty on top of that. 74 degrees right now, cloudy skies across the area. Looking for rain to make its way in later this evening. Filtering in a little cooler air. We'll be in the 60s, though, ahead of this frontal system as it slowly pushes its way on in here. There's actually a second band of uh, differ differentiating weather behind the first front. This is the one that's going to give us a little bit of a cool down, although it's not going to be much. You can't expect a whole lot this time of year. Once we get into February and into March, things begin to settle down a little bit as far as the cool weather is concerned. But look for a cooler, drier picture as we head towards the weekend. Here's your Channel 6 7 day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Fair skies, got a breezy tomorrow. We see those south winds go to the north, 10 to 15 and gusty tomorrow, 63 the low with an afternoon high getting up to 75. Uh, cooler, yep, 41 Friday morning with a high of 68. Saturday, 45 for a low and a high of 67. But the next system is getting close enough to us that we look at about a 30% chance of showers and maybe even 40% chances of rain as we get into Sunday. That next front coming in is really going to have some strong gusty winds behind it. Once it clears us on Monday, we're looking at about a 30% chance of showers. Tonight, the threats continue to be rather strong, damaging winds, perhaps some hail as the front comes in. Not everyone's going to see this. It looks like our northern counties will be more favored to see the frontal boundary push on through. That's why we're not going 100% chances of rain tonight. Just going 70% chances that you'll get some of this front coming in that is located right now out around Abilene and San Angelo. Slow mover. All right. We know you'll keep an eye on it for us. All right, sir. We will. Thanks, Thanks Andy. Andy. Nick is joining us now with sports.